What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials, pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. Um, today, I have a request from Twitter and I want to get to it. But first, I want to talk to you guys about So100. That's So with two O's, 100. Uh, amazing sound designer. Um, and for guys who want to use the MPC, with as little VSTs as possible. For guys who want to use the MPC standalone, especially, you need to be tapped in with these expansions. These are multi-sampled, multi-sampled instruments that are sampled from real gear. Um, I worked with him in collaboration on the Wu-Pack drill expansion. Um, you know, he went out and got amazing, uh, all, you know, vintage string, string synthesizers from the 70s. We we'll talk about the Selena, the infamous Mellotron. No... Arturia cap in this rep. Um, check it out on so100.com. He's got a whole bunch of other, um, a whole bunch of other expansions that are top notch. Now, today we were looking at um, my friend over here. He was asking, is there any way to work on an audio channel, time stretching and reversing, et cetera, and then send it to a drum program to chop? And that's a, that's an excellent question because when you're working with the MPC beat software, um, the, in, you know, in order to, uh, in, in order to chop and chop and time stretch and everything like that, it is a lot easier to do that on an audio track. Um, and then if you, you know, if you have the desire to, you know, cause when you're sampling, to, uh, you know, typically what's easiest to do is to grab, is to grab a piece out of, out of a song, maybe like four, eight, 16 bars, um, deal with the time stretching to get into the tempo that you want to work into. Um, so there's, you know, you can either go about it one or two ways, right? Like you can be, you could do like the old school boomer method where you just kind of pitch things up and down and you tap tempo and then whatever tempo that the groove of that sample is, you build the drums around that. Or you can, you can work more like uh, how DAW based people uh, are, are used to working where you get the parameters of, of the BPM first and then, you know, and then, um, and then continue your work from there. So when you're inside the MPC beat software, um, and you want to, and you want it and you want to do this, right? So we could go ahead and we have an audio track here. All right. And I'll go and let me just, let me see if I could find, I should have grabbed the sample first. We'll just get, we'll just get any sample, right? Oh God, who's going to give me a sample? Who's going to give me a sample? So we could go ahead and we'll take some. Go to Rucker Collective. They got good stuff, right? Go to, go to Ski Mask 11. Ski Mask. Right, so this is out on CMP kits. I just I just dropped this um on uh I just dropped it on Friday, right? Brand new composition stems and MIDI, all analog. No plugins were harmed in the making of the pack. So if we get something like Drag this in. We press play. Oh, see, the one wants a trip, huh? So as you can see right here, this isn't, this isn't lined up on the grid or anything like that. Um, what we want to do is we want to set this, uh, this BPM right to the speed of the sample 150. And you see how that changes the position of the sample because we have warp checked right here and we have, uh, 
we have warped this sample to our tempo, right? So now. Cool. we got perfect loop and everything if we wanted to like reverse the sample we could go ahead and do this now say it's say i you know i have this reversed but <clears throat> i want to uh I want to do different things. I want to do different things with the chops. I want to, you know, I want to chop this up. Um, you can't, you, you know, you can't chop up an audio track. So naturally what we would want to do is get, is get this back into a sample, right? So I'm going to, in all these, in all these MPC beats videos, I'm going to keep saying this when you want to edit something, right? When you want to make an edit to something, inside this software just get this through your head when you want to edit something you want to go to the edit menu then you want to look at what do you want to edit right so let's see edit an audio region we already did that boom so we are on an audio track right we want to edit this audio track and when we go to audio track we have a couple of we have we have a few options. We have select all, we have deselect, clear, clear regions, explode, events at double speed, split events, next track, previous track, export as MIDI, bounce to sample or bounce to audio track. What you want to do to get this on a drum program is you want to bounce to sample, right? And once you have this bounced as a sample, you can take this guy, get rid of him. Go back to your MIDI tracks, right? And down at the bottom, this is where your sample bounces are in the project, right? So you want to hit project info. So that's where this bounce is going to be. Click and drag this onto here. And now you can move forward with this and treat it and treat it as a sample. chop it up, bounce it out, bounce it out as a new, as a new program, as we've shown in the other videos and work from it. But this is how you go from, this is how you go from a, this is how you go from an audio track, right? This is how you go from an audio track to a MIDI track or to a, to a drum program track. And also what you want to keep in mind is that when you do that bounce to sample, whatever you, whatever you have highlighted is going to be what bounces, right? So if you want to, we want to switch this back. So we got, You want to make sure you have the whole thing. You get the whole thing highlighted, right? Go to file. I'm, I'm sorry. Go to edit. Edit track. Bounce to new sample. Now, when you go back MIDI, go to your project. Here's your new sample. Click here. Go into go into your sample editor got the whole you've got the whole sample here and then from here you have all of your options to affect the audio set your chops time stretch loop crossfade everything everything that you need to do in order to continue to work on your track so this is cmp with craft master productions studio one tutorials.com you guys keep it simple but do not be basic and we will see you on the next one